Hello, I'm Andre Peterson. I had an opportunity to interview Senator Mike Lee. Here's part of that interview. I think we need a, um, a Congress that uh, reflects the mindset of conservatives throughout the country and Americans throughout the country, which is we've got to rein in federal spending and we need to restrict Congress's deficit spending power. That's where I'm focusing my attention because I think that's where we can do the most good. Most important bills that I've worked on this year has to be the um, Senate Joint Resolution 10, the Hatch-Lee Balanced Budget Amendment proposal, uh, which restricts Congress's ability to engage in deficit spending, requires a supermajority to approve all deficit spending, and limits federal spending as a percentage of gross domestic product. You know, I've got a couple of really strong allies in the Senate, and they certainly include Rand Paul in Kentucky and Jim DeMint in South Carolina. We share a lot of conservative ideals, and we work closely together to help restore constitutionally limited government. See, it's changed in the sense that we need Congress to recognize limits on its power. Congress was created as a legislative body that was supposed to be in charge of national defense, weights and measures, regulating trade between the states and with foreign nations, establishing bankruptcy laws, uh, trademarks, copyrights, and patents, um, and that's about it. It wasn't supposed to be the one-size-fits-all uh, Swiss Army knife legislative body that it, it has become. And um, I think we need more focus on that. So my emphasis continues to be change uh, toward restoring constitutionally limited government. Yes, I, I think members of Congress uh, ought to be limited by constitutional amendment to 12 years in either House of Congress. So that would be two terms for a senator, six terms for a member of the House. You could serve in both houses if you wanted, but, uh, but not more than 12 years in either House. I think that ought to be enough. For a candidate for federal office, I think it needs to be someone who really does believe in this difference between state power and federal power and understands what the difference is and is willing to stand by that set of principles even when it's not popular to do so. I think that's the single most important quality to look for in a candidate for federal office is someone who will stand up for that principle. So many people are predicting change in Congress, government, and even the office of the president. It will be interesting to see how things play out. I want to thank Sarah Lee and his staff for making time for me. I'm Andre Peterson. Thanks for watching.